So this summer trend is all about color blocking. You'll see fashion designers and models on runways doing this fashion trend of monochromatic color blocking as well as you'll see this on celebrities who are doing color blocking these days. So summer is all about color and color popping. Back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Freely Renee. So let's talk color block. So summer is all about color and color popping. So you'll see this trend trending all throughout to the end of, of summertime until, until fall as well. So some might say, what is color blocking? When you think of color blocking, you think of on a color wheel, you think warm colors and cool colors. So if you take the warm colors and the cool colors and you mix them together, you get what is called color blocking. Today I will be talking about monochromatic color blocking. And so there's two ways that you can pretty much color block. You can color block in the warm, co the warm color schemes or you can color block in the cool color schemes. And today I just kind of did a mixture of, mostly this is warm color. This is what you would consider a warm color. And what I decided to do was I decided to do a monochromatic color blocking. And what that is is taking one, one color and kind of picking different hues of that color. So basically what I did was I took my green crop top tank top and I paired it with my kind of a sage color linen jacket and then I took these olive green shorts um, that I got from Target and I paired it together and that is what you consider a monochromatic color blocking scheme. There's a proper way or a beginner's way of doing color blocking since I am um, considered new to color blocking, I'm normally the type of person that loves just neutral colors. So I stick to my blacks, my whites, my tans, my browns, and things of that nature. So I decided to get onto this trend this summer because I really am feeling a little bit of brightness, you know, just to get out of the monotony of having basic items. So I decided to do color blocking and the way that I did it was through monochromatic look. Now there's several ways that you could do my, um, the color blocking. I decided to do one color and stick to that. Um, to me that would be the beginner's way of doing color blocking is picking a color that you like or that you're enjoying for that time frame and then just kind of doing different shades of those colors. Now when it comes to color blocking, a way of doing it is taking um, a base color and what I like to call a base color is something that is more on the neutral side of the color. So in this case, my base color or my dark color was my olive green shorts. And then what I do is I go from there and I take it a shade grade lighter. So I still wanted to kind of keep it muted. So what I did was I then took my sage green linen jacket and paired it with something bright. Something that the eye can kind of go towards is an item that you want to pick as your brightest color. And here are some clips I show you guys how to kind of do a beginner's guide. Or, and one, I like this, this particular one, is because here Rihanna is wearing um, the warm tones of the warm tones, which would be your reds, your violets, and your... Um, your orange tones those are your fiery colors so those would be considered your warm colors and so what i like here what rihanna did with hers was she paired her monochromatic look with orange and kind of like a violet purple pink color so um those are ways that you can kind of jazz up a red or a warm tone is by kind of taking picking no more than one to three colors and um, that is a way of color blocking is that you want to stick to no more than than three because after three it, it just becomes like a big mess <laughs> and that's something that you don't want so you want to stick to the you know no more than one to two maybe three colors and so what she did here was she took two colors and can and paired them together and then she has that red fiery hair look going on with some gold pumps and um that's one of the classic ways that you can do color blocking. One of the things that I love about Rihanna is that she's very 
daring and very bold, but at the same time, she, she makes it classic. The next clip is kind of a more of a muted color blocking, and this I really like is because here, JLo is giving more of a monochromatic um, muted color color blocking. And this one is very chic and classic is because she's using gold as her base. So here you can see that she pairs her gold um, pencil skirt or A-line skirt with a yellow gold top and she pairs it with her gold pumps as well. And then just keeping her colors very minimal, she pairs it with a classic purse. So that is another way of doing. If you guys are kind of scared of color or going bold, you jazz this up, do the color blocking with a gold or a yellow gold to keep it more basic. Another style that I like is the way that Kendall Jenner has done her color blocking. She kept it very neutral. If you guys are not, if you guys are like me and you love, you know, just a basic essential look with very neutral toned colors, another way is the way that Kendall Jenner has styled hers. Um, she styled hers with a tan jacket, white top, and just a, a pair of blue pants and then keeping the nude pumps as well. So, like I said, the maximum of color block, the proper way of color blocking is you don't want to do no more than three colors. And so she kept that very, you know, very, very, she did that very beautifully and I'm really loving her style um, on this one. In this next clip scene, you see Kendall Jenner doing a very basic neutral color blocking where she takes a baby blue, which is her light color or her bright color and she pairs it with whites and tans. Still here, the trend is keeping it no, to a minimal of no more than three. And so she uses her colors, basically pairing it around her neutrals, which would be her white, her white top and her tan jacket with a baby blue pair of pants. The fashion trends on monochromatic blocking, you have some fashion designers taking that same look of the monochromatic blocking and using it in their own styling. On the runway, they did the shades of purple. And so what they did was they took that lilac purple top and they paired it with a darker purple. You'll see that they did the shades of pink. So they just did a variations of what is called cool color blocking. When you're color blocking, you can do what is called cross color color blocking. And it, what that is, is basically on the color wheel, you can take your orange and green and kind of do a color blocking with that. Or you can stay within the colors of the color scheme as your, um, what is called primary colors. So those are another way that you can um, do if you feel bold enough to do that when color blocking. When pairing your accessories, for example, or pairing, you know, your makeup or a, a bag, you want to keep those very minimum or basic, or you want to kind of color them towards the colors that you are wearing within your color scheme. So for example, what I did here was I just kept my makeup very minimal, um, not a lot going on with that, um, with this, with these colors that I have on. Um, with my jewelry, I kept that also to a minimal, just pairing gold basic jewelry with that. Or you could do silver jewelry, just depending on what colors that you are wearing and what your style is on your the jewelry. But you want to keep that very minimal. As you can see throughout the, the clips that I've shown here, they kept their hair, makeup, jewelry all to a minimal, not a lot going on. You don't want a lot of things clashing together. Um, same, same thing with your pumps or the shoes that you wear. You want to keep those in the same colors schemes that you're wearing or you want to just wear a basic foundation neutral tone color. Um, and in this case, I went for my basic um, flats, Zara flats that you'll see in my clip that I have at the very beginning. So that is it. That's all I have on the simple ways to do color blocking for beginners. And if you guys like this video and want to see more of this type of video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.